I'm going to be measuring knee extension. So for this, there's two different ways to do it. The first one is to get the client to try and lift their heel off the couch here, making sure their knee stays on the couch and just relax. And we can measure in centimetres how far their heel comes off. So I can use a goniometer, which has got centimetres on or a tape measure. We just do that again. That's it. And I can place that on the couch and then read it off in centimetres, which is around three centimetres there. The other way for knee extension, a bit more accurate, but a bit harder to do, is you want the pivot of the goniometer right through the lateral knee joint line here. Um, and then one arm of the goniometer heads up to the greater trochanter and the other arm of the goniometer heads down to the lateral malleolus. And from there with knee extension, you can have a look, just extend your knee for me. You can have a look at how much movement there is um, of the fibula as we track it down. So it's a lot harder to do. I personally say it's a lot easier for the massage therapist to have a feel of the range of movement and compare left and right than actually use the goniometer to assess for that one. But if we go to knee flexion, get the client to roll over. And for this one, we're taking the heel to the bottom. Now, if they're particularly tight in rectus femoris, you will see that the hips start to lift off the couch. Just do that for me. And lift it up that way, you will see that movement there if it's tight. So really, I want to be assessing the movement without any hip movement at all. So I can be here and just holding that hip down and taking the heel to bottom. Again, you could just measure between the heel and bottom in terms of centimetres, but with a goniometer, and to get a degree, I want the centre of the goniometer and the lateral knee joint line, same as before. One arm goes down to lateral malleolus, the other arm goes up to greater trochanter. And as the client went, goes to flexion, you track that and point down to lateral malleolus, like so. Um, and there we've got a range of 135.